<laughs> Man, I feel like my neighbors hate me. <laughs> How's it going guys? Thank you so much for checking out this Toy Photography Fandoms video. And this one's gonna be all about Peacemaker. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been really loving watching Peacemaker on HBO Max. I was never a huge fan of John Cena to begin with, but now I freaking love this guy because the show is so funny and is awesome and also gives a lot of great inspiration for some toy photography. So pretty much in this video, I really just wanna take two really fantastic toy shots with Peacemaker. And of course, Eagly, too, my favorite character ever, my favorite superhero, Eagly. <laughs> so there's two shots that I really want to do. One of them is some kind of recreation of that really hilarious opening credits scene where they're all dancing, uh, obviously. And then the second one is just some kind of ridiculous, awesome hero action packed explosion shot with Eagly and Peacemaker, of course. So in this video, I'm really going to try and accomplish these two things. So what I'm going to be using is the McFarlane DC Multiverse Peacemaker figure, which is pretty great. And I'm also going to be using this little eagle figure right here, which is actually an eagle figure by Schleich. Schleich? Schleich? Not really sure if I'm saying that right. Um, but uh, I needed an eagle figure, and they have a lot of really fantastic uh, just animal stuff. So I ordered him on Amazon, and he actually came on like a wooden base. So I cut off the wooden base part on his feet, and now he's just like a normal looking eagle figure. And he's perfect for being eagly, and it fits perfectly with Peacemaker. But with Peacemaker, there's a couple things I wanted to fix with him to make it work with the photos and that kind of thing. And overall, the figure's pretty good. I actually kind of really like the way he looks. Some of the articulation is a little wonky and some of the elbows are a little wonky too, but I'll probably be able to work around that somehow. So the first thing I really wanted to do with Peacemaker is make his helmet a little bit more chrome and shiny. In the show, it's just so incredibly shiny. And even in Suicide Squad, there's that awesome chromed out reflection scene. So having a shiny helmet, I thought was really, really important. So uh, what I did was I grabbed this stuff called Rub and Buff. I went to my local Michael's store uh, I'm also going to have it linked in the description below. This stuff is amazing. And actually this stuff and using it to make things shiny on your figures, this whole entire technique I got from a guy named Zay Takahashi. Uh, Bulkers on Instagram, I'm sure you probably know him. I've referenced him in probably plenty of videos before. Uh, but I got this entire technique from him. So thank you, Jude. And also check out his Instagram if you want to see him do it much better than I do it. So I squirted out some of the rub and buff on some paper and then I dipped a little bit in with a paper towel and then just started really rubbing it all over Peacemaker's helmet. Uh, and then once I kind of got a good glob over everything, uh, I just really just rubbed it in with a, uh, a blank paper towel and basically buffed it in. I rubbed it in and then I buffed it in. I rubbed and buffed. And then any little bits of silvery whatever stuff I got on pieces of the figure I didn't want, I just took a little bit of my girlfriend's nail polish remover on a Q-tip and wiped it off and it worked great. So that was that. And uh, the result, I think, came out really good. So the comparison between how shiny the helmet was initially from the factory paint after the rub and buff was quite the difference. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the first modification to Peacemaker that uh, worked out pretty good. The second thing I really wanted to do with Peacemaker is give him a weapon. Because the figure only comes with this little sword thingy that he does use briefly in Suicide Squad. But he really mostly uses this really ridiculously long pistol thing. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, I wanted to make one of those, so it really wasn't too hard. I just took uh, a basic pistol from some Marvel Legend or something from some other figure that I had, and then I cut off a piece of a clone blaster from a Black Series Star Wars figure and cut that off, ended up gluing them together, uh, and it made the perfect shape of the gun with some super glue. And then I took some more of the rub and buff, and I rubbed it all in, and I got this perfect silver looking chrome gun. And it works really great with the figure, and uh, it really makes it look and feel so much more like him in the show. So, after those two modifications went through, I think uh, I was ready to start some shooting. So the first shot I had to do was the crazy, awesome, epic hero explosion shot. And I didn't really have to think too hard about it because I didn't really want anything else really happening besides just an awesome, crazy explosion and some goofy, crazy pose. So I put him in some jumping, kicking pose with the gun pointed and everything. I put Eagly on his shoulder. 
uh, which worked out really nicely. Just added a little bit of sticky tack on uh, Eagley's feet here and then uh, stuck to his shoulder just fine. Then propped him up on a wire, stuck him in the snow because there's still a lot of snow here in New York. Grabbed one of my crackling ball fireworks, placed it behind him and took a shot. So I don't think that one was quite big enough, so I think I need to step it up a little bit and make it get a bigger explosion. Man, I feel like my neighbors hate me. <laughs> For my settings, I kept my shutter speed relatively pretty high, about like 1 uh, 1600, which was fast enough for a firework. But I also really wanted to make sure my f-stop was uh, wide enough to the point where it was at like 7.1, because I wanted Eagly and I wanted all of Peacemaker very much in focus, especially the, uh, the pistol as well too. After the firework happened, I needed to take some secondary shots with some lighting with my loom cube as well. What I do is I take the photos separately and I edit them all together, and if you're interested to see exactly how I do that editing technique and everything with explosions, I have a whole tutorial here if you want to check that out as well. And the shot came out like this. So the next shot was to try to do some kind of recreation of the intro sequence of the show with them dancing, whatever. So <laughs> I ended up putting a Peacemaker into this pose, trying to do something similar to what he's doing in the show, and also having uh, Eagly kind of dancing in there with him. In the show, they're dancing in this kind of whatever looking studio with purple lights, stuff like that. And I'm not going to try and recreate that exactly as is, because that's okay. I'm not. That's just too elaborate for me. So I got some purple lights. These are just some random lights that I had on uh, from Amazon. I used in other toy photos. I put those in the background. And so one thing I really wanted to try. I have this weird night light that kind of projects things onto the ceiling. And I was like, this might end up being some kind of cool lighting for the whatever. And I kind of messed around with that, aiming that above it to try to get some weird lighting and I also use a bit of atmosphere aerosol, sprayed that around and uh, the shot ended up looking a bit like this. One of the really great beauties of toy photography is when you're trying to recreate something and you know you have this huge complicated thing going on that you're trying to recreate and you don't have all of this equipment to recreate it exactly, you know what, you can kind of just mess around and just add in some things that you got at home and sometimes it'll still end up being really awesome even if it's not exactly the way it looks in you know whatever the source material is. And in the final edit, I used this really cool neural filter in Photoshop to try and make actually Peacemaker smile or change his face a little bit to kind of match the tone of the photo, which actually ended up working out pretty good. Uh, and if you are curious on how to do that as well, I have a whole video on how to do that. It's really quick and really easy in Photoshop, so uh, really it makes a big difference in the photos for sure. That's about it for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed the shots. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please drop a like and a subscribe if you enjoy this kind of thing. I've been dropping videos every single Saturday and having live streams every other Thursday or Friday or so. Uh, would love to have you join. That would be fantastic. But thank you guys so much, and I will uh, see you. See you in the next one.